All right, on this episode of DIY Nate, I have a simple human trash can. You can see it right there. And the problem, as you can see as it pops off, is unfortunately the plastic is worn out. So if you step on it and get this kind of action, you're watching DIY Nate. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to tell me about your project in the comments. The plastic in the back has really worn out. And so there's this little piece right here that the plastic has separated completely. Now, there are a couple fixes for it. The way I'm gonna do this, and I've done it before and it's held for a long time, is we're actually gonna put some zip ties around this part, this part, and through here to hold it onto this post in the back that pops up. The zip tie feature actually holds this in place. We got a couple years out of it on the last one, so I'm really just replacing the zip ties. But I wanted to share this for anybody who has a simple human trash can or the other type of pop-up trash cans, give you the idea to use zip ties to help you out so that you won't have this problem and you won't have to go buy a new trash can. So hopefully I'll save you a couple bucks. Let me show you how to do it. First step you're gonna do is take your drill. And if you have the same problem I have where the plastic is completely gone by the wayside, you're gonna drill a small hole right through the back here. And that's gonna punch right through here. And I've already drilled this hole out in the past so you can kind of see. So we're gonna actually drill. I've got a drill hole right here. Um, so you put a hole right through the top here. And that's really going to create an option for you to put another hook, uh, essentially using a zip tie instead of the plastic that's already there. So as you'll see, I'm fishing this one through the hole I've already drilled in there, and that's going to go through the top there. And then you've got two other holes drilled. You can take two of these black zip ties right here, and I'm going to put them through the, these two holes that have been drilled in the back, and that's going to give me the ability to just take the three zip ties and line them up so that once I've got the three zip ties ready to go, I'm gonna make sure they're facing the right direction. All of them are looking right. These posts right here are really the most important pieces to anchor on so that the zip tie will actually hold all the way around this post. In this case, there's a hole already up here, which I think I've drilled those in the past, but we wanna make sure it's gonna go all the way around. So now I'm just simply gonna take this and the hardest one to get in place is probably this metal one. Once you get this one on, the other two should fall in place pretty nicely. Because if you still have the plastic uh, attached there, you want to kind of thread it through. So you can see I've threaded it through there. And then I'm simply rolling this guy on top and fishing him through right here. There we go. There we go. So now I've got that one in position. You can see it's holding on there. Now I'm going to take this next one and run this zip tie through the back. Just feeding them up. So that's how we're gonna feed this guy up. And you're not gonna tighten this one all the way just yet. We'll tighten them in just a second so that we can get all of them in position. So I'll go ahead and get my fingers in position here. Sweating a little bit hot outside today. Should get them up through. Just gonna slide that down there. Yeah, that one's on. And our last but not least, over here. Fish this guy through. You can start to hear it clasp on. So now, now that I've got them in position, it's going to be a little easier to seat them on there once I push the trash can all the way on. And we'll see what I mean. I'm go ahead and clamp down. There we go. Yes. And then now the zip ties are ready to be tightened on. So you can see me tighten it there. I'll just simply clip the ends off in just a second here. Tighten this guy on. So that that's not going anywhere. Last but not least, I one over here. Get to them. Right here, tighten my guy on. Okay, so we got the zip ties one, two, three, one in the middle, two on the side. And now you can see it opens nicely, and we're good to go there. I am going to grab some scissors and clip the back of that. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here, make sure we don't have random cords hanging out the back. So I'll take it off the ends, make sure they're tight. So now our simple human trash can is back and running, and I don't have to replace it or do anything special. So I feel good that this repair has worked, and I've used this in the past. I've had zip ties on here for a couple of years before one of them finally gave away, so I know it works. I've definitely tried this and done this before. I'm using these small zip ties here by comparison to the longer ones, and I'll leave a link in the description below for some cable ties, some zip ties that you're welcome to purchase from Amazon or wherever. And uh, hopefully this project helps you out and saves you from the frustration of stepping on these. My kids would just come over here and pound on these things and 
you know, it, it jumps the tracks very easily with being designed by simple human to start with. So even if you had the problem where your lids pop it off too regularly, it's a good fix here. Even if the plastic is holding in place, you might want to think about securing it with some zip ties. Thanks for watching DIY Neat and have a great day.